Hey guys, the Eggman here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Last time, we, uh, moved through the, uh, Dark World, or, uh, Twilight World, as a wolf, and met with Princess Zelda. And this time... So, um, what next? <laughs> Did you think I'd disappear? Listen, there's another thing I forgot to tell you. Don't think you can just run off and save your friends, because you can't. Just beyond that bridge, the land is covered in twilight. Last time, a shadow piece pulled you through the curtain of twilight. But if you want to go that way, if you want to go that way this time, you'll need the cooperation of some from the twilight, like me. So you really have no choice but to do what I say. Saving your friends and all that, well, that'll depend on your actions. Because you can never trust words, you know. Right now, I want a sword and shield that'll suit me. You do understand me, don't you? <laughs> so what do you plan to do? While you're here dawdling, the twilight continues to expand. Come on, hurry it up. Alright. So, now we gotta find a sword and shield for Midna. That's just great. And look at these guys right here. They're, uh in our forest now. Uh, this is supposed to be our place and supposed to be free of enemies, but those are uh, Bulb and Warriors. So they're pretty easily defeated. But it's just kinda sad that our nice little village here is getting ransacked by guys like these. Okay, so fighting is just... No, I don't want to attack the Scarecrow. Uh, fighting is just the same as when you're in human form. We learned that last episode. Uh, so yeah. Wait. Thank you for care taking care of those bad guys. They made both the village and the forest a mess. They kidnapped the village children. But I know you're not one of them. I can tell because you smell like the trees of Orden. If you run, run into any trouble, Try talking to the animals. We animals understand one another, so you'll be alright. Alright, well, I guess that's one of the benefits of being a wolf. We can talk to the animals in village. So let's see what we got here. Oh, how did it come to this? The children, please say nothing's happened. Please forgive your good-for-nothing father. Alright, so there's Hunch. Um, pleading with some kind of godly figure, it would seem. Oh, about the shield. Hey, not so loud. Okay, so there's Mayor Bo and Jaggle talking about a shield. And if we remember... If we... If you... Blah, Jesus. If you remember from a couple episodes ago... We saw that uh, Jaggle is making a shield, so that could be one of the uh, things. That could be the shield that we get from Minna. M m monsters! No use! Hide! Quick! Or quick hide. I said it backwards. Don't judge me. Alright. So now they're going to hide inside there. Let's talk with this dog right here. Are you trying to listen to the humans talk? Do you understand human words? That's amazing! I tried to listen with A, too, but I don't under understand human words. If you sneak up on them and try listening, I bet you could hear. I bet you hear something good. All right, so we'll try that next time. Rupee. Uh, got anything back here? No, didn't think so. Oh, oops. Okay, so we gotta. Let's go back here. Oh, I didn't want to jump in the water. Okay, let's sneak up on them this time though, because they should be back out here. Okay, listen, there we go. Hey, hey, did did the monster did the monsters leave? Jesus, that is so small. How we, how do they expect you to read that? I I have nearly 20/20 vision. I I could hardly read that. Holy crap! Okay, now it gets a little bit bigger when we get closer. 
I don't want to go away, dog. Huh. Uh, I think they scattered. We gotta hurry before the monsters find us again. You bring the shield that's at your house. I'll go to Russell's place and get the sword we were to present in Hyrule. Hurry, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to search for those children in Russell's steed. He's too injured to move quick. Gotcha, Mayor. I'll hurry and get the shield. You wait here. No oh, good run. Okay, finally we got that uh, cutscene to appear. That's not a bad bit of information you heard, huh? Uh, look at that open window. This village is full of idiots. Excuse me? Calling me an idiot, Minda? So... Hint, hint. You should jump up there. But from where? Okay, so... Finally we got that cutscene to activate. Took forever. Uh, uh, monster! You've returned for more, haven't you? My my daughter, return her! And take this! That's my hot grass. You can't use it, Hodge. How do you get the cutscene to go so fast? How does the hawk come so quick for you? It takes like 10 seconds for it to come for me. Ah! Ah, what are you doing, Hodge? Come on, I'm your friend. Okay, so we gotta run to the village entrance. And... This cat runs up to us, so let's see what this cat has to say. Were you attacked by that hawk? You're no match for him. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. That person calling the hawk is my master's husband. You could sneak up from behind him and scare him. Meow. Alright. So that's a good idea. How are we gonna sneak up there, though? Let's talk to Midna. Come on, let's get up on that roof from here and scare that guy. Look at him, posing like he's all important. Wait until he sees us. <laughs> Or ee hee hee hee. So we gotta do this jumping thing right here now, which we're pretty used to by now. And go right here. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I love that cutscene. And here we go. Let's go in here and try and grab that shield. Alright, so. We can see the shield is just across the way over there. So, let's drop down here, get on the table. Hee hee hee, found it, found it. And we can jump up here. You just want to dash into the wall with A, do it two times, and there we go. You got the Orden shield. Nice. It looks kind of cheap. Alright then, next is a sword. Hurry up and get one. Okay. Man, you're so demanding, Minda. So we heard that there was a sword at Russell's house from the mayor. And what was that sound? The children could not have returned, could they? I must go and search for and search one last time. You get inside the house. I place a sword that was to be a gift to Hyrule on the couch. If the mayor comes for it, please give it to him. But, darling, your injuries. Alright, so... Where do we want to go? We want to go... This way, I think. No, we aren't... I don't want to go up there. We already went there. Uh, so we want to head along this way. And there's Russell right here. Let's go up and talk to him. Maybe it'll be nice. Beast, I have found you. So you're not going to want to try and attack Russell because you can't hurt him, but he can hurt you. Something kind of funny, you can run up to Uli right here. She gets all frightened. And Russell comes in her defense out of nowhere. Ooh, chicken. What do you have to say? Ah. To be a wolf on a night when the moon rides high? Beautiful. Tell me, is your true form a human who is not currently in the town? Ha, <laughs> just teasing. You're lucky. Your sharpened senses and soft looking and your soft looking coat? Lovely. Alright. So we have to get inside Russell's house somehow and get that sword. So we want to come around this way. And we can see there's a dig spot right here. And we dig under the house. And inside it. Okay, so we just gotta go to the couch, because that's where the sword is, and we find it right here. 
You got the Orden Sword. This is, this is a sword crafted by Russell, the best, best swordsman in Orden. Alright, so now you have a sword. Looks like we can actually be useful when you concentrate. Alright, no more detours. I'm going to take you back into the twilight. Go back into the woods where you first transformed into that shape. Okay, we'll do that. So now we're all ready to go to the twilight. And... We're gonna head there now. So... You can just dash very qu quickly. Oh, I know. Foul beast. I don't want to talk to Russell there, but whatever. Just shut up, Minna. Okay. Back this way, and all the way past Orden Spring. All the way to where that w there was that uh, black wall looking thing that looked pretty scary. Uh, so I was uh, using my headset to listen to music a couple or yesterday, and it's the uh, wait. Okay, I'll, I'll wait to tell the story till later. Come to my spring. You have been transformed by the power of shadow. Come to me. This is a this is a trap or something? Beware, a shadow being. It approaches. All right, and this enemy right here is a twilight messenger. Ouch. So you can just attack it, come onto it, and then just keep pressing A to keep biting it in the face. And that'll take it out easily enough. And these create warp portals, but we're not going to get into that till quite a bit later in the game. Oh, brave youth. I am one of four light spirits that protect Hyrule at the behest of the gods. I am Ardona. The black beast you slayed was a shadow being. It had come to seize the power of light I wield. To save this land from the King of Twilight, the lost light must be recovered. The three light spirits who have lost their light must be revived. There is but one who can revive them and redeem this land. 
You. You still have not discovered your true power. Those transformed by twilight usually cannot recover their original forms unless if you were to return to Farron Woods where you were first transformed. If you were to revive the light spirit there by the power of the light spirit you may find the means to regain your other state of being. 